Hey everyone, Mr. Mo here, back for another episode of Mo Steam. Now today we're gonna to talk about solving the Rubik's Cube. That's right, so one of the reasons we teach kids to solve the Rubik's Cube is because it develops their spatial intelligence. And the S in simpler actually stands for spatial intelligence. Very important uh, skill to have and ability. Um, and the Rubik's Cube is perfect for developing that ability, right? It's very low cost. You can carry it around whenever you, wherever you go and break it out whenever you have some time. So, um, first couple steps are actually solving for the, the white cross and then solving this bottom layer. So, most people solve it by trying to solve a face color, but you have to understand that it's a mechanism, so there's certain rules that apply to it. So, we want to solve the bottom white layer, and I call it the bottom, but you can orient it however you want. Um, but you know what color that side is supposed to be when it's solved by the centerpiece, okay? Those pieces never move relative to each other. So this is the red side, this is the yellow side, this is the orange side, and so on. So, but what we do is we solve for the white cross first, which is on the bottom, and so let's do that. And, and I'll uh, give my commentary as we go along so that uh, you can kind of understand what's going on. So I'm solving for the white cross on the bottom. So we have the white cross solved here. And it's solved because you have these edge center edge pieces here, as you can see. Uh, the blue is where the blue should be in the orange, et cetera, green. And so then once you have that, you have to solve the corner pieces on the bottom layer. Um, and so we solve the entire bottom layer and if you look around, this whole bottom layer is solved, okay? And so then the next step is to put in these uh, edge pieces on the second layer. And now there are algorithms associated with that, meaning an algorithm is just a series of steps that you do once you see the state in which the uh, Rubik's Cube is in. And based on that state, you do a series of algorithms. And, and it can get mm, pretty complex, but we're gonna keep it short just for time's sake, okay? So now that second layer is solved and the whole bottom white layer is still intact. In and so, now you have to solve for the top layer because I want this yellow cross on the top. And based on that, I have to then put in the edge pieces and see it's starting to all come together as you can see, but there's still a few moves we gotta do to get it completely solved, okay? And, then, and once you learn these algorithms and when to uh, deploy them, then you can solve the Rubik's Cube too. Okay, so if you have any more questions about how to solve the Rubik's Cube and other engineering and robotics questions or anything really related to STEAM, uh, definitely stop by simplerstem.com and check us out or hit us up on one of our social media channels and we'll, we'll get right back to you. Until the next most STEAM.